We've got breaking news, shocking footage in regards to the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. State of emergency in effect. Big picture, how is this going to affect you? One of the biggest shipping cargo ports shut down until the entire thing is cleaned up people questioning explosions before the bridge information on who the suspected drivers and reported drivers were of this thing and what countries they're from we hear that the ship was headed towards south asia a lot of things developing let's talk about it My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you want to know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Can you imagine being in the Baltimore area and waking up to this news today? Yes, yeah, okay, see, according to authorities, this all happened around 1.30 a.m. Eastern time here in Baltimore. A large shipping container at that hour uh, it appears, based on the videos that we have seen, uh, collided and hearing from authorities that uh, that shipping container collided with the um, one of the columns of the key bridge in Baltimore. It is, as you mentioned, a major commuter bridge, um, major route uh, as you cut through Baltimore going between, let's say, Washington and New York all, all the way uh, up the northeast. Um, and it appears that in the bridge collapse, uh, you can see it in the video crumble into several pieces. And authorities think there are potentially up to 20 people in the water. They don't know. As you mentioned, there was some sort of large uh, tractor trailer sized vehicle on the bridge at the time. Um, but that is what emergency crews are now looking for. Anyone who is uh, in vehicles or in the water that may have ended up down in the Patapsco River. Uh, first responders have been there at the scene. They're calling it a mass casualty event. Uh, and there is an urgent search right now, urgent rescue for any people uh, who could be there in the water. Uh, and right now, the entire area around the bridge is shut down. There are crews not only from Baltimore, but from surrounding agencies, from federal agencies that are assisting with this, uh, because this is a, a very, very serious incident and serious rescue operation that's now underway. Now, before we get into the controversial stuff and how this might affect you, I can't imagine either waking up because this is probably the news that some, a lot of these people watch, CNN, not my favorite, and at times Fox News, CNBC, also questionable. But nonetheless, I comb over it all to see what people are saying. And waking up to something like this, and maybe you didn't even hear it on the news. Maybe you're headed towards the bridge and you don't see a bridge there anymore because this bridge does see about 20,000 cars a day. Thank the Lord this happened in the middle of the night. So one of the things that's controversial that you guys want to know, was there explosions before it hit the bridge? One thing that I found out is there's already a lot of misinformation about the Baltimore Bridge collapse that's already been spread on social media. And I scroll down, um, a lot of these images that you guys are seeing are from another collision. It's another bridge incident that is not the same one. Now in this video that supposedly is an actual video of this incident, you can see the lights go off three or four times in the video and there is a mechanical system that has already been failed. It looks like they're trying to fix the electrical system, which also failed. Let's take a look. So there it is on the left-hand side. You can see it going towards the bridge. This is probably one of the better videos I've seen. And there's definitely some variable speeds that you notice. Power loss number one slows down considerably. But what doesn't make a ton of sense is there's like a recovery, but then it's still headed towards the pylon. Thick smoke coming from the top. Power loss number two, they state here. Recovery, but you're headed towards a pylon. So now you're taking out an entire bridge that is iconic and it looks to appear that it falls apart pretty easy but again if you see a video that looks like this this is a video of an attack on Kerch Strait Bridge in Crimea not the Francis Scott Key Bridge so don't be fooled by that one there is still some question there's some question on possible explosions before it hit the bridge I've seen some not very great videos that I can pull anything from it it's definitely suspect but I think with the explosion before hitting this bridge on this other one that's probably where a lot of that's getting spread from the other thing that I think is not very true is that they're saying that there was multiple people on the bridge and when in fact reportedly they had gave the bridge a warning which kind of stopped the flow there is talk about 
some construction workers being on there that were still on there. I've heard a range of around 20 people that went into the water, but at 40 degrees, maybe low 50 temperature water, it's not looking very good and that's pretty sad. As far as this boat goes, it's got a history. Also, the vessel responsible for the Baltimore bridge collapse was implicated in other incidents. In 2016, it collided with the dock at the container terminal of the port of Antwerp, Belgium. The incident is said to have been caused by a mistake made by the master and pilot on board at the time. It's got a rap sheet. Whose ship is this? Well, from what I found, this is a Singapore ship headed for Sri Lanka. But another interesting thing is who's running the ship. Got this floating around. You can see the couple mug shots right there, all of the ship information. The report is here's some information circulating regarding the container ship that hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge and it's alleged drivers. One is reportedly from Ukraine. The information does not account for any remote operating and it's a developing story. And the other guy's information says he's from India. So I'm sure there's gonna be some stuff circulating about that. You know this is gonna affect a lot of people over there in that area, but how's it gonna affect you? Another question, is it another distraction? Anybody else pick up on anything big that was happening in the world? Put it down in the comments. But in Biden's speech, he said that this is a port and a location that heavily exports vehicles and the fact that this was going to Sri Lanka. So people would think not gonna affect us, affects, you know, lower Asia. But a couple things to keep in mind is that ship right there look like it's carrying a bunch of cars. I don't think that they're shoving cars in those containers or do they, am I completely wrong? But that just definitely doesn't look like they're transporting cars there. That is a lot a lot of shipping containers of who knows what. Here's another photo. Don't think that they're shipping cars, but again, I'm not a shipping expert. You guys can let me know down in the comments if that's how they ship cars. The other thing is, is it's not just this ship and it's not the delivery to Sri Lanka. The entire port, which I think is like the ninth largest in the world, correct me if I'm wrong, but that controls a lot of stuff that we need, that our stores need. It affects inflation. It affects food shortage. Are we gonna see a food shortage because of this? Are we gonna see empty shelves? Certainly, because nothing has changed, we're gonna see more inflation. More food inflation, more grocery inflation. Stuff like this doesn't only just affect the shelves and empty shelves. It affects the prices of things. So you always gotta keep that in mind, that big, huge ports like this getting shut down, how long? Well, from what I'm researching, it will be shut down until that whole mess is completely cleaned up. And Biden said is they're gonna throw all the federal money in the world at this project. Sounds like a lot more funds that can be allocated towards something. So possibly expect food shortages, inflation, food inflation, possible empty shelves in some places. Biggest thing is, is you guys stay aware so you can be prepared. Thumbs up if you found value in this video, share it out. And as I know more, I'll keep you guys posted. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.